So do you think uh, in the coming years or maybe 10 years that uh, banging will ever die on the west side because of the because of the money? Um, or do you think it'll always I, have a, a position or it might even go into some type of corporate? Because basically the corporate business people are almost they're doing the same shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, but they're doing it legally. Yeah. So do you think it'll ever move into that because like you said it's almost like a, a family network do you think it'll ever either die out it'll it'll always exist in some form i, I think it'll always exist in some form man i i don't want to speak too much about the feds too but you know see nah, you, you ain't gonna speak out but just do you think it'll it'll them too being gangs you know like a rampart district up in downtown they were like the biggest fucking gang unit fucking taking getting one of my homies fucking fathers deported like just beating him down because he was salvadorian you know and i was like damn fucking cops are colder than fucking real gangsters you know or shit they are their own gangsters but that's another thing i was gonna say you got little kids that grow up to the culture and they see they start hearing music you know like mr night Owl or fucking immortal technique or uh capone or whatever you know it's just it's just uh, it's something like it's mental and the kids come out and find it themselves so yeah i mean we just got some youngsters put on too i don't think it's like back in the day where kids being 10 years old were getting put on you know that's some like 80s shit because that's when barrios were really small and there was more homes than apartments now there's fucking apartments on every corner and now they're even gentrifying like you said raising up the rent so people can kick rocks but no, they ain't getting, they ain't getting me at least, you know. Or they haven't got me yet. And do you go, you know how uh, Culver City has PJs, right? Yeah, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Did, did your hood ever have something like that? Yeah, I believe they call them the cozy corners, right down Olympic and Sotel, before the marshals. But like I said, that was before my time, so I can't speak on it too much. Oh but shit, I, I didn't even know there was something like that. Yeah, trouble. there was projects, man, but the Soteleros just turned it into a fucking, I don't know, drug mine or whatever, man. And point being is they tore them down to build the fucking marshals, you know? But yeah, there was a dirt road on that, on um, those projects. They got closed down. I'm sure the older generation uh, before me, they probably saw it for sure, probably lived it. And you just touched on something briefly a while back that there's no difference, that they're gangs too. So I, I see a lot of stuff online, like on YouTube and stuff, where like people are like, you know, they'll leave comments like, yo, why don't these dudes go join the military? But when you think about like the essence of like what the military does, it's really no different than like these sets that exist and are pushing their line for their, their either their pride, their neighborhood, their initiative. Why do you think most people can't correlate and see the difference? And the military kills on par way greater than any, all the sets in America. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The first word that came to mind was, I guess, honor. It's a sign of honor, right? You join the military, you join the army, you join the navy. It gives uh, your family a sense of pride and honor that your son contributed to the U.S. economy. But as I grew up and seeing what it really was, I'm not going to go die for the white man kill some little kid fucking selling potatoes and coconuts or whatever for fucking them saying that oh yeah but at night he fucking cuts down opiates or you know poppy fields and shit like that's that's out man my, my family's real poor so I, i'm not i'm not down to die for the white man i'm not i at some point i did want to join but I don't know. Oh they, really? Yeah, they, they wanted to join the military at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Why was that? What intrigued uh, you about it? Well, honestly, it was uh, more for like for money because I needed it. I grew up rough. My parents were divorced when I was like seven, eight, and uh, that shit kind of just shattered. Like it shattered a lot of things for me. But I, I wanted to join the military so maybe they can help me. But my hands were blasted so. 
they said I can't have no tattoos on my hands. You can have tattoos on your arms, but anything seen outside your uniform you can't join. So I was like, fuck you guys then. I'll just get drafted anyways. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, true, bro. He's like, you can join, just go get them taken off. I was like, yeah, and that's not happening. I can't speak too much on the military. Still, shout out to the boys. Shout out for serving our country. It's much appreciated. I hope y'all are doing the right thing. Um, we all go, I mean, we, they go in with the intention thinking that they're doing the right thing. But as we've seen, you know, it, it ends up that USA, that we become the bullies, which is unfortunate, but hey, amen. Or that it's for a country's resources and it, it's really nothing more than just yeah. robbing motherfuckers. That, that too, that too. But the, those resources, I mean, they we use the fucking lithium and our batteries that we drive on our roads. You know what I mean? So, so, so you're saying we're right and no. we're right in taking the li country's lithium or gas <laughs> we're right doing it the wrong way you know that's, just, that's a true gangster yeah. shit <laughs> yeah. yeah shout out shout out to my boy tracks from nyc man jeweler and much respect i follow him on ig um he goes to africa himself he pays the he pays the miners cash like you know dollars they give them the diamonds because you know people and they don't give a fuck about no diamonds or nothing man. that's just rocks to them it's us here in the usa as consumers we've seen that that's a sign of of how do you say uh, a sign of luxury you know a, a sign of oh how big is he up in the ladder like oh shit. status symbol a status symbol it's yeah, like yeah. a flex exactly flexing you know? on people <laughs> and i mean shit i got my versace's on i feel good you feel me i got my i got my seattle hat on I'm, i got the mariners i'm good i got my fucking on me like i'm chilling like she got my nikes shout out to my boys in china <laughs> but <laughs> you know I, I, some, unfortunately, some do have to suffer for others to live great. But I wish it wasn't like that, but I can only control so much. The best thing I can do, uh, like my boy Harvey said, is not be part of the problem. You know, that's the best thing you can do. Be aware and not be part of the problem. So, I talked about this with another individual. Do you have any rules for what you want markup on? Do you have any rules? like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as like, you know, um, that's more like common sense thing. Like, don't tag up a church, don't tag up a hospital, but who's are going to do if who's are going to do? You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't, a hospital is one too? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, didn't know. I mean, I, 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 when I go to the hospital, I go and see my, my family. I'm not there to fucking be like, oh, I'm going to catch a hit up, you know? Nah, like... I do that shit on the streets. I do that shit on... People have seen my get downs, how I get down, you know? If, if you've been a fucking so right here to the sotel, to the head, and you see me up, then you see me up. If you haven't, then go look on the internet or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I've never tagged in the church, man. I've never tagged in a hospital. And I don't think, I don't feel like I need to, you know, but there's ill people going there man and who are you trying to impress someone that has cancer or something? <laughs> no and then what would you say to the people that because most people don't realize uh these individuals that live under these different subcultures whether it be graffiti gangs whether it be sex workers you know the, uh, these subcultures that exist that are kind of underground people at the end of the day don't understand these people are regular people what would you say to these people that look at it from a from the outside looking in and they just don't understand it you know what i mean they um, well i would say just i mean get to know the person if you really want to judge them you know like i mean who is anyone to judge anyone mm. you know just i mean i i don't as as far as i've come i've learned to not to judge anyone so i'm not i'm not perfect myself either you know as no one is yeah I've, i had a couple of girls at a time you know and <laughs> yeah, i mean i didn't mean to hurt them but it just, it just happens and at this point my stage i'm just I'm just trying to get rich man get rich and not die get rich and do it Make your money work for you, right? Yeah, that, yeah, mm -hmm. that part, yeah. Mm -hmm. And shit, maybe have a couple, a couple minions and regrets myself, you know, and help them grow up, see the good life, and 
I love lowrider culture, so I'll probably introduce them to that. And if they make the choice of getting in the hood, they can get in there too, you know what I mean? I'll be there, so. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's how I see it at least. I just want the best for, 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 for I want the best for my children, and I believe what I do will be the best as far as it has been, you know? I'm really big on health. I, I like guns, so fucking, I like women, I like art. It's a knife on a west sider, man. And why on the towers didn't you hit more than one panel or, or do it bigger? Uh, <laughs> That's a good one too. Jesus Christ. I didn't I didn't um I didn't uh how do I say bring enough paint? I didn't analyze how much paint it would take to paint one floor. It's fucking it looks small from down here, but when you're up there, you know, it's like you fucking you gotta be Bigfoot to hit all the way to the top, man. So these walls are big. I honestly wanna say about like ten feet, twelve feet high. Each one of those levels is. And then inside it's even it's even more enormous. Yeah, <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't count on how big they really were. It looks small. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But then when you go up there, it's huge. Yeah, right? Shout out to them fucking MT aliens, man. Shit. And then them, them boys from OTR too. Fucking taking nine floors, huh? That was insane, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they did that, I was like, oh shit. But I mean, it, it's it's expected from those type of crews, you know. Those are really fucking international crews, cross country type crews. So, shout out to them, man. I, I, you know, my respects for sure. And and then on, you touched on something little. So who would you say? Because you touched on music a little. So mm -hmm. who who was your biggest influence as far as music? Your favorite artist? Ah, uh, damn. Honestly, I, I heard it all. I heard a lot of. Uh, I, I'm a hip hop head. Uh, I got a lot of homies that will listen to Chicano rap, so they I, I would listen to Spanish Fly a lot. I like his music too, their music. Um, but I was more like a Mortal Technique, Psycho Realm, you know, Sick Jack and Duke, all that. Um, but yeah, I, I love my Spanish music for sure. And she trip out on me, so I, I even fucking I'll make love to a girl fucking playing piano music, you know, like <laughs> I just. Yeah, man, at this point, I like fine art. And, you know, it ain't a crime to be educated and like the luxuries of life, you know? So just keep progressing, stay healthy. Fucking watch out for that corn syrup because that should be a, classified as an A1 drug. Fucking giving people diabetes and all that. But music, yeah, man, I'm, I'm a big hip hop head. Cycle Room, that was my shit, gas mask. So who was if you had to name one, who would it be? Spanish Fly, Psycho Realm, or who was the biggest influence? Yeah, I want to say Psycho Realm, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah Sick Jack and this. That, that first album they came out with, the, the Psycho Realm album, right? I believe so. Yeah, the one with the green mask on it. That that's a classic for sure. I put it up there with Wu Tang. You feel me? Mm. They were like par and par. Until the, until the, what happens to Cyclone, unfortunately, they broke up or they fell off because of the incident that happened at the Rampart, which is unfortunate. But hey, man, that's LA life, LA culture. It happens. And yeah, just be aware of your surroundings, be safe, stay on your toes, stay healthy, stay hydrated. I mean, because all this, all this shit that people see on Instagram, all of that. That's because you don't see what people do in the background to get there. That's why they party like that, you know? But, yeah, man. Just what you do behind closed doors is what really matters and defines who you are, as far as I've come to know. And then, if there ever is something in Los Angeles' history, as far as monumental as some towers, which I doubt there ever will be, mm -hmm. would you hit it again if, it, say, we should do it again. My mind tells me, hell yeah, I will. Hell yeah. I That's would. Right. I would, man. Uh, shout out to Saber 2 from MSK AWR hitting the LA River. That's one of the fucking, that, that right there. Like, shit, yo. Fucking up his knees for a hit up. Like, come on, y'all. Like, can't get more dedicated than that, you know? I mean, that's why he is who he is. 
He's he's a big dog in the game. He, he's held it down for the past years. You know, I wish them all the best. And yeah, if something ever again comes up like this, I'm I'm going up there for sure. But this time, way more prepared. Probably even taking a ladder with me, man, because I was standing on a bucket. I was still like two feet under the whole wall. Big ass wall. <laughs> Yeah, I was standing on that Home Depot bucket. But um, yeah, hopefully, I, hopefully it doesn't happen again. If it does or it doesn't, it's out of my control. But either way, it's gonna get hit. So finish your projects. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's ever gonna be anything like that again. I think it was a once in a lifetime as far as Los Angeles history. Well, yeah. And as far as what to do with those towers, I just say just let them be, man. Just leave them like that. Obviously, it is a waste of resources with police just sitting there, but there's gonna be some dumb motherfucker that's gonna go up there and he's gonna fall off that shit. So what do you mean? You, you're saying it should be declared a LA monument as far as art history and- Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it should preserved be declared just... and preserved for sure. I mean, if they wanna knock it down, they should call fucking George W. Bush, you know, he's good with knocking down <laughs> towers and shit. But, um, yeah, oh dear, he I, went, he I, went I, in on it. That's the, that's I the truth. Just be stood up. I think they should just leave it as is. Uh, I, I've, I've talked about it with a couple homies too, older homies. Like, what would you do with the towers? And they say just leave it as is too, because you can't give it away. No one's gonna buy it to finish it, because then you gotta restore all those fucking window panels. Like, that's millions of dollars already. You gotta get back permits, and it's just then to give it away to who to crack it it's just gonna become a fucking a drug empire up in there you know it just overdoses left and right yeah it's, it's just be declared a fucking uh, what do you call that zone the the no zones the la monument la monument zone so you heard that la city council uh -huh. uh, mayor you know if you want them knocked down or restored Call George Bush how he did <laughs> how he did the Twin Towers in uh, New York in 911. Nah, you caught that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. They they want to control demolition, hey. Right. <laughs> or whoever was behind that man, but I don't know. Who knows, man? Yeah, no, it, was, it was a controlled demolition. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that it was a controlled demolition. Yeah. If you think otherwise, then go read a book. <laughs> For real, because. Steel beams don't melt, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of evidence to the yeah, to to going in that direction. But yeah. But I don't want to take any more of your time today. You know, you I appreciate you sitting out your day to do this. You know what I mean? Giving you time. You wanna yeah. give any shout outs or any message to the people uh, out there? I wanna give a shout out to my boy Pico Suave, of course. You know, y'all tap in. If y'all knew what was good, man, he a real one. He, he really be doing this out here. Appreciate you know, that. Um, yeah, catching, catching, documenting uh, LA life for what it really is. And um, yeah, man, shit, shout out to the rest of the Soteleros in the hood. You know, and if you ain't from my hood, then f you kick rocks. I mean, that's all I can say. But I mean, I got love for everybody till I don't. <laughs>